This is a strange little project I've been kicking around in my mind for a while, taking an old broken jet ski and converting it to electric in as simple a way as we can. So we've got our Navy 6, our e-propulsion Navy 6, which we've used on a couple different boats. There's some videos of it on a Glastron, videos of it on this StarCraft. And then I thought, let's see if we can put it on basically a free jet ski. The jet ski has a blown engine. It's got low compression, it's got some issues, so I don't feel bad about ripping that out. And as far as mounting the N6, the Navy 6, we're gonna need some sort of bracket on the back. And that's what I'm sketching out right now. 31 years of decals on a boat in the sun makes it really challenging to get those off. So we've got most of them off, at least off of the fiberglass here. The cone here, this cover for our storage compartment, actually was vinyl wrapped. So getting these last pieces off is something we're slowly working our way through. But as far as the fiberglass coming back, it's coming back beautifully. It's looking really, really good. And that bright purple rubber matting is looking pretty good as well. That's what it looks like when you pull out the old engine in various parts because it was pretty much shoehorned in there. We probably could have just used the hook on the top of the head or the engine block with some lifts or a hoist or a few people. But since I'm kind of working on my own a little bit here today, I just took it apart in parts. And we've got our cavity right now, which is pretty grungy, but we've got our opening there. And the next phase will be to get the gas tank and the oil tank out, which are pretty well tight, tightly sealed or tightly set inside this front section. So when you open this up, then you can get access to those. And we'll go from there. So slowly making progress. For our motor mount, we've not drilled any new holes. We're just taking advantage of the two holes on either side, which used to have that grab rail. And right now, we've got our first coats of epoxy on here. We've got a couple fillets on the inside. And once these get nice and strong, we'll take the bolts out, we'll remove the whole piece, and then hit it with some more epoxy, some fiberglass, and some paint to kind of finish it off. As this is version one, kind of proof of concept, we're just going for strength at this point, and we can make this pretty later on. So just checking to see how this works, and this is extremely strong. We've got some extra backing plates here with some aluminum, and this doesn't seem to want to move, move at all. We've gotten to the ramp. Pretty easy today. Fortunately, there's not really anybody here, just a few folks. So easy, we'll drop it in and make sure everything is good to go. We've got a drain plug in, crucial to remember that, and have a couple extras as well. So I'm gonna lower that motor down and we will see what we've got. After a lot of thought and trying to use the handlebars that came with the jet ski for motor control, there really wasn't enough space to use that cable, and that cable was pretty lightweight when it came to pushing a motor that was heavier like this. So we went to steering control for this, and getting the Teleflex system in the back here was a challenge because that is so very tight. We had to do some modifications in there, some, some modding up and changing a few things. But we are all connected here. We've got full steering control, and I think it fits with the quirkiness of this project. Today is the day. We're getting to the point where we're ready to try this. We're going to put the ski do, the electric converted ski do, in the water and see what kind of results we can get. And then we'll show the process up to this point. 
to lend a set of hands and it's always more enjoyable. My friend Wayne here, Wayne the boat guy, is going to uh, keep us company while we put our electric converted ski do in the water and he brought down his Jimmy skiff. There are a whole bunch of videos on his build of this boat which are well worth watching. Lake looks flat. This should be a fun fun day to test. We are at the ramp for try number two. During the Memorial Day weekend we did one float test and had a little bit of leakage around some of the uh, the jet pump stuff. So everything should be sealed at this point and we're going to drop it in and see see what kind of results we get. Well, proof of concept. Works. There's a lot of water in here. Yep. Oops, my little uh, tag came off. And you were very bow high too, yes. so yeah. Matter of fact, your whole transom is under now, uh -huh. so you might want to head to head to shore. There's a lot of water. <laughs> Boat projects are interesting. Sometimes an idea comes across and you have some of the parts on hand and you think this will work and you sketch out the ideas and you do some tests and you think yeah this will work and then after you try some things and you learn a lot of things along the way you get to the point where you do some float tests in this case for this jet ski conversion and you keep running into problem after problem after problem. So I'm kind of at a pause point with this and I'd welcome opinions and thoughts if anybody would like to share. I think what this comes down to, which may be very obvious, is that the e-propulsion Navy 6 that I have, which is a 6,000 watt motor, a 6 kilowatt motor, is just not strong enough, might be incredibly obvious, to push a jet ski. I wasn't thinking it was going to be jet ski speed, but it pushed the StarCraft at about 12 miles an hour. So I was thinking with the jet ski, we might do 12, 13, 14, somewhere in that ballpark. But the tests today didn't get anywhere near that. We kind of plowed forward with a max speed, probably about five or six miles an hour. So this is kind of where the story is right now. But what I think this just came down to was the motor, as powerful as this motor is, and I've used it on several boats, it just wasn't enough to really get this jet ski up on any kind of loose plane. And again, I was thinking somewhere 12 to 15 miles an hour, but we barely got above 5 or 6 before we had to turn back around because of some of our small leak issues in the back. While we are licking our wounds and learning from this experience, or this project, there's always something else interesting on tap. Maybe stick around for this one. See where this goes. Mm -hmm. 